Over a year since the release of the masterful Uncharted 4, Naughty Dog have been slowly releasing new content via the multiplayer portion of the game while continuing to work on the main single player DLC. Uncharted Lost Legacy, the standalone expansion is finally out, and with it comes a whole new story to be told. Does greatness still await, or is it one adventure that is better left untraveled? Right away, Uncharted Lost Legacy sets itself apart from what has come before by changing out the protagonist of the franchise. Rather than series icon Nathan Drake, you play as Chloe Fraser, a returning character from the previous Uncharted entries. Unlike other side characters such as Sully and Elena, Chloe hasn't had much time in the spotlight especially after her absence in Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, so it was great to see her being the main focus of this game. Other than Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, which mainly focused on her relationship to Nathan Drake, we don't really know much about her, creating a lot of potential backstory for this game to explore. I can't let Asav get that task. No. No, we can't. Thank you. Of course, all great adventures must have someone to assist the treasure hunter, and that comes in the form of Nadine Ross. One of the previous main antagonists of the Drake Brothers, things haven't quite gone well for Nadine since Uncharted 4, having been unable to resource funding for her mercenary group Shoreline. Although Chloe's story is the primary focus, Nadine does have her own moments and the game is able to shed a different light on her character and motivations. Ultimately, their narrative acts as a conduit to allow these characters to bond and grow, enabling them to assist each other with moving on from their past decisions. With the compelling dialogue superbly delivered through both physical and verbal means, the personality of the two leads come through with lifelike qualities, adding a sense of realness and relatability to their journey. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. Creating roadblocks for Chloe and Nadine is a brand new villain called Azav, a rebel leader and warlord in India. Azar fits in with the best of the Uncharted antagonists, with the ruthlessness of Lazarevich and the villainous subtlety of Rafe. From his initial appearance in an active war zone, you immediately feel the threat he presents, and thankfully his background remains mysterious while still giving enough explanation to his motivations and personality that he comes off also as a compelling and realistic character. Nadine Ross. What a pleasant surprise. Between the cast, there is the main goal of retrieving a long-lost treasure from the Hoysala Empire, the Task of Ganesh, that leads to many confrontations between Chloe, Nadine, and Hassav as you discover and explore the stunning vistas Uncharted Lost Legacy has to offer. India hasn't been featured yet in an Uncharted game, and it allows Naughty Dog to explore significantly different locations, such as a city under civil war, as well as hidden temples and cities erected in the honour of Hindu gods. Not only does it offer something different from what has been seen before, but the location is also closely tied to Chloe's history, offering greater weight and levity to the environment. Oisalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time though. This series has always had visually striking locations and explosive set pieces to break up the pacing of the game, and there is no exception here. Unlike most other Uncharted's, this game doesn't move you around from country to country, but rather chooses to focus on one main area and greatly fleshing it out. The feeling of uncovering a once vibrant location that was hidden away and has slowly fallen to ruin offers some of the best moments this series has, and by smartly spacing them out, this game always has something new to discover. The set pieces in Lost Legacy are also an excellent way to diversify the gameplay and create dynamic cinematic experiences. The Uncharted franchise has had so many at this point that some features in this game are a bit derivative of what's come before, but that doesn't mean there aren't a few surprises. Regardless, they are still very enjoyable to play and are an impressive way to quickly get the characters from one place to another as opposed to the slow and less exciting alternative. When you're not taking in the breathtaking scenery or climbing a collapsible building, the gameplay is basically the same as it was in Uncharted 4. The combat scenarios can either be completed via an all-out gunfight, Chloe sneaking around through the thick grass stealthily taking out all enemies, or in some situations being avoided entirely. The emphasis is more on stealth in this game, with certain encounters that are thrown at you, especially at the higher difficulties. Building on the stealth system, there is a new lock picking mechanic used to unlock chests granting access to more powerful weapons, some of which are unique to Lost Legacy. One such weapon is a silenced pistol which can help significantly in taking out large groups of enemies secretly, although with the pressure of having to do the lockpicking minigame without being spotted. 
I did enjoy these new features, but I wish there could have been some kind of distraction ability to make it a more fully functional stealth system. Besides the combat encounters, you will be exploring the environment by climbing, jumping, swinging and driving your way through various areas and obstacles. Uncharted Lost Legacy features a location early in the game that allows you to branch off into all directions, completing tasks in any order you see fit. This is what felt the newest to an Uncharted game and was easily one of the biggest highlights. In this section, a side mission is also introduced that has Chloe and Aideen looking for Hosala tokens to grant access to a special bracelet. This bracelet then becomes a part of Chloe's attire for the rest of the game and glows red whenever near a hidden treasure. This was a brilliant addition and made the treasure so much more enjoyable to find. Puzzles also appear quite often in the game as a barrier preventing you from journeying further into Chloe's quest for the tusk. Quite a bit of variety is introduced into each challenge where one has you traversing a path based on movement patterns of a statue or another involving lining up shadow illustrations. They are enjoyable overall and deliver the right amount of difficulty while not being overly complex to start with puzzle fans. Every aspect of this game is compelling and seamlessly comes together to make one hell of a joyful experience, with its only real significant stumble being the overall sense of deja vu you get while playing it. At this point the Uncharted formula does start to feel a bit overused, as obstacles constantly crumble and the bad guys always seem to show up just when a combat skirmish needs to occur. The excellent characters, environment and stories help alleviate that problem though, and at the very least it is still extremely polished and fun to play. Not so tough now are we? The Once you have completed the game, there is still plenty of content to enjoy, such as finding all the hidden collectibles, optional conversations and photo spots. Different game modifiers can also be enabled to make the game feel very different on a second exploration. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for assault. Perfect. This can be done to often humorous effect, with modifiers such as bullet time and no gravity enabling combat scenarios to feel very unique from the original version of the game. Additionally, the entire Uncharted 4 multiplayer suite is included to enable potentially endless hours of online content. With the release of Uncharted Lost Legacy, picture. skins for Chloe and Nadine have been added, plus Azav as a playable character and an all new survival arena mode for some cop fun against waves of enemies. The single player campaign is compelling enough, but with additional multiplayer weapons, abilities and modes that have been spotted all the way up to now, there is heaps to enjoy. Oh, With Uncharted Lost Legacy, Naughty Dog have managed to pull off an excellent return to what was originally intended to just be DLC for Uncharted 4. Changing perspective and tying location to the personal story of Chloe was a great idea to make the game feel fresh and less stagnant of what has come before. Every aspect of this game is massively done, and presents a strong indication that this series can move on without Nathan Drake as its title character. For more gaming and geeky content, stay tuned to Optional Extra.